What's up guys, this is TJ Tassoni, mortgage broker, owner of Tate & Capital. Today I'm gonna to talk about the cost of living in Denver, Colorado in 2022. And if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, please like and subscribe at the links below. As I come out with new videos every single Friday, I wanna make sure that you have access to it as it comes out. And let's hop right into it. All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to talk about what the cost of living in Denver, Colorado are in 2022. So I wanna, what I wanna cover is housing costs, healthcare costs, transportation costs, food costs, and utility costs. So I'm gonna start with housing costs. And so to always point out, I am a mortgage loan officer, so I wanna talk about what the cost of living are specifically for if you own houses, and then what it looks like if you're gonna be renting. So when we are looking at purchasing houses, I'm just gonna go off averages and I'm gonna go off data from the Denver Metro Association of Realtors. So in January of 2022, the average single family home cost was about 694, 419. So 694,419 for a single family residence. And for townhomes and condos, the average was $514,596. So you can see there's a big, you know, big discrepancy between the size of the property, whether it's a condo, whether it's a townhouse. Okay. Now, when we're taking a look at estimated payments for mortgages, it's really important to understand that every person's financial situation is different. So if you put a larger down payment down, if you have higher credit, if you have lower credit, if you're doing a different type of, of loan product, you're gonna see variations in what the prices look like and what the payments look like. So for simplicity's sake, and to, to keep in mind, when we're looking at quoting interest rates, there are certain parameters that we have to disclose. So you know, if we're looking at qualifying someone for a conventional loan, this is what I'm gonna use for this example. If you're looking at the single family residence of 694, 419, with 20% down, approximate credit score of about a 740, we're looking at an approximate payment interest rate of 4.299. Now what I wanna also point out is, I'm talking about these rates just as informational purposes. I don't want you to think that this rate is specific to you. It's just I'm using this as a generalized approach so you have a, a general idea of what the rates look like. So 4.299 for 20% down with a 740 credit score. That's with paying no points or anything like that for a 30 year fixed term. And assuming that homeowner's insurance is 165 a month and property taxes are 200 a month, the approximate cost of that house would be $3,113 per month. Okay, so that's for a single family property and that's without any sort of an HOA, okay? HOAs are gonna be what you'll see on a condo and in some cases, uh, or most cases, you'll see them on townhouses. And so now looking at the estimated payment for your average townhouse condo of 514, 596, again, we're looking at 20% down under the assumption of a 740 credit score, approximate interest rate of 4.3%, again, just giving you know informational purposes, not trying to specifically quote rates, just saying this is what would be out there if you were in this type of a realm as far as your credit score and your down payment, et cetera, okay? And that's without paying points as well. So with condos and, and townhouses, your homeowner's insurance is gonna be a lot less expensive. Again, this is just estimate. So I'm gonna say $100 a month for that. Could be a little bit less expensive for a condo, could be a little bit less expensive on the single family or excuse me, on the on the townhouse, I like to just do estimates. So 100 bucks a month, I'm gonna keep it at $200 a month for taxes. And then looking at HOAs, I'm gonna estimate $250 a month. So if we're looking at all of those parameters, an estimated monthly payment would be $2,596 a month. So you can see the differences in cost between single family homes, townhouses. So one thing to keep in mind is it's possible to find a townhouse that's just as expensive as uh, a single family house. But what you have to remember is that there's gonna be HOAs involved. That can drastically increase what the monthly payments are. So when you're out shopping for, for properties, always keep that in mind because one house at 500 and one house at 600 or one house at 500 and a single family uh, and townhouse at 500, they're not gonna be the same because taxes and insurance can change and HOAs can change. So it's good to keep that in mind for you know just basic averages. So if you have any specific questions about that, please feel free to reach out to me and I'd love to run through some scenarios for you. All right, and then to compare the cost of living as far as owning a property versus renting, I'm pulling some data from the apartment list website. So an average cost of a studio apartment in Denver is $16.20 per month. Uh, for a one bedroom, it's about $18.38 per month. 
And if we're looking at two bedrooms, it's a little under 2,500 at 2,466 per month. And then lastly, three bedroom is gonna be about 2,900 a month. So we're looking at the cost of living as far as rent versus own. You can see that it's just as expensive to rent a property as it is to own a property. So it's not a bad idea if you're thinking of moving here or if you're just you know looking for statistics to really seriously consider if you're eligible to be able to purchase a home as you're gonna get the tax benefits of owning, you're gonna get the equity and the appreciation of owning a home. And it's the same cost as what it would be to rent. So there's really no reason to rent in that situation. So if you, again, if you have further questions about that, I'd love to run some scenarios for you. All right, then to talk about uh, what the cost of food is like in Denver, I, I wanna talk about just, just some standard you know, items that you would get for your house versus what a meal would like be for yourself and for if you went out to a restaurant. I think, you know, basic metrics you're gonna wanna look at is like what the cost of milk is, what the cost of bread is, what the cost of eggs are, and then just kind of, you know, take a look at all the other, you know, varying degrees of quality, and then you can kind of go from there. So just basic gallon of milk, $3.33. You're looking at just a basic loaf of white bread, it's gonna be right under three dollars at two ninety three. Uh, you're looking at twelve eggs, about two sixty six for just your standard dozen eggs. And then if you're going out to restaurants, obviously you could go to a really cheap restaurant, you could go to a really expensive restaurant. I'm just looking at kind of a mid level, you know, more inexpensive restaurant. So if you're doing it just a meal for yourself. I would expect to see somewhere about 16 bucks for a meal. If you're looking at going out with your significant other or just two people in general for you know a basic three course meal, I would expect somewhere around 66 to $70 for that. If you went out to, to go get a coffee, you know, I would expect five bucks for a cappuccino. And then if you're looking at, you know, bottles of wine, beer, things like that, you could see, you know, again, lower end of the spectrum could be under 10 bucks, but I would say fair kind of average for a bottle of wine, probably 15 bucks. And then for craft brews or beers, probably gonna be somewhere in that 10 to 15 range as well. So those are some things to think about as far as the food costs go. If you have any desire to go out to eat and you want some specific suggestions about certain types of restaurants, I'm a big foodie, I love eating, I love cooking. So if you wanna know about a good place to get steaks, if you wanna know about a good place to get seafood, just let me know and I'll give you some suggestions. All right, so I wanna talk about what healthcare costs are in Denver, Colorado and Denver County specifically. Now, obviously it's hard to give specifics because each person's medical history is gonna be very different. So you could have someone who's a lot older that could have higher insurance costs or someone who's a lot younger uh, that can have lower insurance costs. So I'm just gonna do just kind of a, a standard, you know, family more or less. So if you have two adults in their forties with a couple kids, you can expect, you know, somewhere on average to be between 1100 to $1,200 a month for, you know, your standard health insurance costs. And then if you are, you know, a single person, you're young, you're in your twenties, thirties, I would say, you know, maybe 300 to $400 a month. Uh, as far as insurance goes. Now, obviously, if you work for big companies that have very good insurance, it might be a little bit less expensive, or, you know, obviously it's, it, it can be all over the place, but I would say just basic averages, you can expect those for your healthcare. As far as healthcare providers, there are a lot of very good hospitals, specifically in Denver. So there is a lot of access to healthcare. So that's something to keep in mind. There's a lot of hospitals around, so they're very, you know, easily accessible. So that's a good trade-off for what the costs are. All right, so I wanna talk about what the utility costs look like in Denver. Now keep in mind, obviously it's, we're just going off averages. If you live in a place that has an HOA, typically an HOA is gonna cover a portion of your water or sewer, sometimes trash, sometimes snow removal. So I'm gonna keep that separate from this uh, estimate. This is just gonna be going off just your standard residential property. So if you're looking at just your electric bill, I would expect somewhere around 70 to $80 a month. And then if you're looking at including, you know, your electric, your water, your garbage, you know, sewage, things of that nature, I would expect somewhere around 200 to 250 a month uh, as just kind of your basic utilities. Now, obviously different months of the year are gonna warrant, you know, different usages. So if it's summertime and it's really hot, you're gonna be blasting the AC. If it's really cold and it's snowing, you're probably gonna be blasting the heat. So obviously there's gonna be some months in the year where your bills are gonna be higher than what the, what the average is. So it's just something to keep in mind. Personally, I run really hot, so I don't run the heat very much. My girlfriend, on the other hand, is always really cold and sometimes it feels like it's 100 degrees in here. So <laughs> something to keep in mind. But uh, as far as utility costs go, I think we're on the lower end of the spectrum, you know, if you're comparing us against, you know, the rest of the US. So that's something to keep in mind. It's a, a positive um, a cost of living for being here. 
All right, guys, so then talking about cost of living as far as transportation goes, I want to talk about, you know, average gas prices, what the light rail costs look like, and what bus rates look like. So right now, the current average across Denver is $3 and a $2.79 a gallon for regular, and then about three and a half for diesel. So if we're looking at that as a comparison to a month ago, it has gone up. Last month it was $3.20 for regular and $3.30 for diesel. So those are some things that you know kind of keep in mind. But as far as you know, cost of gas goes, I always compare what it's like living in Denver as opposed to where I grew up in Los Angeles, California, where gas is just always ridiculously expensive. So it always seems cheap to me. <laughs> uh, and then uh, looking at getting around the city, if you're gonna be looking at riding the light rail or riding the bus, uh, it depends on how far you're going and where you're going, but you could expect to see somewhere around $3 to $11 uh, to be able to ride the light rail as well as the bus, depending upon if you're going out to the airport, you know, it's gonna be on the higher end of the spectrum. So there's some things to keep in mind as far as transportation costs go. All right, guys, so I just wanna recap what we talked about today. So we went over uh, what housing costs are, what healthcare costs are, what transportation costs are, what utility costs are, and what food costs are. And as always, I really appreciate you guys coming to watch my channel as it's a lot of fun for me to make videos. And if you ever have any questions about what it's like living in Denver, if you have any specifics on trying to figure out what you qualify for as far as mortgages go, or you just wanna have a friend and someone to talk to about what it's like being here, I'm always open to it. So please reach out to me below and call, email, or text. I'm the guy that has built his reputation and brand around being very responsive and being available. So I always wanna be there for you and, and answer any questions you have. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thank you so much.